What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We are back playing our World Cup series with the USA on Legend difficulty. It has been a super fun series to play through. We have had a tough old road to get where we stand today. There's a whole series out on the channel. Go watch those videos first if you haven't already. But we started out with a, a pretty tough old pool. We managed to beat Georgia, followed by two draws against France and Scotland. We scraped by into the quarterfinals, where I'm not going to lie, that's pretty much where I expected the series to get to. Uh, and then we came up against New Zealand. And I thought, ah, well, I'm doomed now. I don't think we're going to be able to get past New Zealand. Last week, we played New Zealand and managed to come back from a 7-0 deficit to go on to win that game. And against all the odds, we are now into the semi-finals against England. It has been such a, a fun tour and I've quickly had to jump on and reset all my team. It's a different day that I'm filming on, of course. I've been reading your guys' comments about the series. You guys also do have been really enjoying it, but the team has reset, so I've had to go back and redo it. Hopefully they fix that for Rugby 24. So many of you guys are putting comments about Rugby 24 on the videos as well. It seems like a lot of people really, really excited for me. Eventually get some news and uh, get to see some gameplay from that game. But in terms of this one then, USA versus uh, England. I'm going to keep the team I think identical. We made some big changes. The only one I think I'm going to start Carty this week is the only one that I think I might. I think Dabulus was struggling a little bit to get as much into that game. I know he got the drop goal that we needed him to. I'm thinking of starting Carty off, though. Dabulus seems uh, just a little bit more reliable. So I'm going to start with Carty and bring Dabulus on slightly later. Maybe even at halftime. Uh, might switch up those... Um, those fly halves. And I am going to keep Ryan James on. I thought he was phenomenal against New Zealand. No point in uh, shifting that one up too much. But this one against England, still a very tough game. But seeing as we did manage to beat New Zealand last week, uh, man, I think all the cards are off the table. So England beat Australia 26 points to 17. That was how we're going up against them in this semi-final. Uh, the other semi-final has already been played. Springboks have beaten Ireland 21 points to 11 meaning South Africa are already in the final. Ireland are playing it out for third place. If we beat England today, we go on to face the Springboks in the final. I really hope we manage to do that. If we lose today, okay, bit of a shame for the series, but we will still go on to play Ireland to see if we can take third place. It's going to be a really big game, guys. I hope you all enjoy this one. Let's get this game kicked off and underway. Alrighty then, guys. USA versus England. Uh, we're both playing in white, because of course we are, because Rugby 22. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for Rugby 24. I hope these things get fixed. But uh, the USA are playing in blue and white, and uh, England are playing in white and uh, a bit of a blue logo. So hopefully you guys uh, won't get too confused. Hopefully it'll be easy enough to uh, determine who is playing for who. But uh... <laughs> Man, I hope this game gets fixed. But a big old game. Let's hope we can do something in this one. We had a, uh, a superb game against New Zealand. I feel like I actually played well against New Zealand. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I played that one, so uh, hopefully I do not let the USA down for this one. Of course, we have the uh, the official England team. Not that the official England team was in the game on, uh, on releases at all because of a mod uh, is how we get to play this one. I know Charlie last week uh, was a little bit more on our side, a couple of calls going our way that we needed to happen. Uh, but England uh, are a tough team to play in this game. Uh, they do have speedy wingers, but they also have powerful forwards. They'll be committing for rucks. Um, I don't really want to see uh, Johnny May getting anywhere on the wing. So I'm going to kick it down to this side to start off with. Cardi will get this game kicked off. I'm going to set my defence to five straight from the off like we ended up doing against New Zealand because uh, I feel like England might play in a, uh, in a similar way. And we get off to a really nice early tackle. We've still got that defence spread wide. <sighs> nice little one-out play there. Or, oh, as I think, that's Ollie Lawrence making a, a bit of ground through the uh, the centre there. Oh, I thought there was the opportunity for an interception as Marcus Smith carries it on and gets tackled in that midfield. Can the USA get over it? They do. Basker pops it off to Savetta. A nice little offload again into Cruz. Oh, stepped the wrong way, though, around the man. We seem to have a bit of uh, numbers out on the right table. See if we can shift it right quickly. Carty to Goff to Campbell. Here he goes. Campbell, one on one Grab a kick around the outside. Oh, what an early try. Wow, I did not expect to be uh, saying that so early on into this video. Absolutely beautiful. England, very, very narrow on the left-hand side. Johnny may have to cut in nicely on that wing there. One-on-one -on -one against Freddie Stewart. Grubber kicking it round and going over for a try. 
what happened to England? I mean, I'll take them. I mean, this is uh, sort of like what happened in the Scotland game, right? We scored early on. <laughs> and we uh, ended up with a draw in that one. There's no draws in a semi-final. Decent conversion, though, will take us to 7 all. Right. Oh, Cardi just completely outrunning the ball. Right, Basca shifted out to Waldron. Takes it on a couple of metres. Very nicely uh, needed. Right, Cruz, drop back in the pocket here. Oh, man, they've, they've cut in on this left wing again. I feel like I kind of want to see if I can play this. Let's try and go wide. Oh, the ball went a little bit loose. Can we keep this going? Goff. Oh, Cardi's taken an injury. Okay, Ryan James to Ryan run it down the field. But uh, Ollie Lawrence again getting back. Man, he's uh, busy for a uh, centre. Right, we have an injury early on. So, unfortunately, Carty is coming off. <laughs> I made the big decision before the game. It almost like it doesn't matter. Dubulis uh, will come on. Um, I'm kind of happy with that enough. Wow, our flanker and our lock and our proper already on uh, Orange Fatigue. Not, uh, not great, but early sub being pressured into it. First line out of the game let's see how uh, england get on against the usa line out they do not bite the dummy jumper as we pass out back basker to campbell to cruz i actually tried to pass away from a tackle then and realized it was my own man i passed away from Brakeley gets it out to mcgee jack knoll chasing down with high speed managing to get over the top though one-on-one -on -one. basker oh maybe he couldn't make his way around jack knoll doing well defensively on this wing maybe the uh, the other wing is the one we actually want to be attacking maybe i'll use going to the left a bit more of uh, a phase play and i'll actually see if i can just tighten up this, uh, this right-hand wing over here. Oh, Campbell might have a bit of room in the middle there. Oh, no, not through there, though. Big tackle immediately. And Ben Young's... Oh, referee, I feel like maybe an unintentional offside there. Referee doesn't pick it up. But has blown the whistle for something else. What have we blown the whistle for? Oh, forward pass! I would want to see the replay of that. I really disagree there was a forward pass there. I might have been wrong. I, I really feel like that was backwards. I feel like the unintentional offside in the uh, in the box kick, though. Referee. <laughs> Potentially some uh, some questionable decision-making at the World Cup. Let's hope we don't see this in the uh, in the real World Cup. Oh, what a great early shove by the USA. And then it gets blown out of the water. And we're going backwards. Okay. <laughs> Ledger difficulty is tough. Come on. USA, right. We won one back. Don't let Ben Young's run. That's absolutely fine. We'll go for one on one. Good tackle. Oh, but he manages to get round. Owen Farrell taking on a little bit further. USA need to... Oh, well done. That was some good recovery, to be fair. That was... Uh, they made a bit of a break. I thought we did well there. Campbell. Oh, I tried to pass it back. Let's see if we can keep spreading wide. Dolan to James. Gets a nice little step around Johnny May on that left wing. I definitely feel like that's the wing I want to be attacking. I'm just going to drop this back. Let's play smarter. I'm playing like I'm not at a World Cup semi-final here. Let's do that. Bit of distance. Get that straight into touch. I'm actually wondering whether I passed that back inside my own 22. Yes, I did. <laughs> that was my own fault. I was thinking too, uh, too outside the box that time. Right, Dabulis. Little pop pass to Dolan. Oh, it's all opening up to Cruz. Out on this wing. Can he get it out? To McGee. Got to grab a kick it on. Can we go one more time? Doesn't manage to. Jack Knoll playing very well on this left wing. We'll just wait for there. See where they go. I think they're going to go through. Uh, the big prop of Kyle Sinclair. Oh, we've narrowed a lot here. Got to get these tackles in early, boys. Hasn't happened. Oh, no. Ryan James missing out. Who's going to get back for this tackle? Johnny May just dancing in and out of players. I'm going to have to hold this middle ground by myself. They go for a long pass. Big hit in the midfield. Oh, England have uh, lost their shape a little bit here. I feel like they were on a good surging run. Let's see if we can take that on rope. Right. Spread left. Don't trust Jack Knoll out on this wing. Oh, man, he's been a bit of an MVP so far for them. Right, let's settle down. This is going to be a scrappy old game, I think. Right, Guerra takes it through the middle of a couple of people there. That was nice, and we've lost another ruck. Okay, England are beginning to uh, get a bit of advantage going now in the uh, in the rucks. Let's just... Oh, oh, I saw Ben Young's wanted it. Okay, I'm going to keep spreading. Oh, that's a good pickup, though. Who was that? Was that uh, Tom Curry? Getting in there. Oh, Ben Young's again. Okay, they're going for the uh, the pick and goes here. Spread a little bit wider to the prop. Good hands from the prop, to be fair. Right. Oh, we managed to steal this back. I actually don't know whether I should just be kicking this out. Cruz 
taking it on. Oh, maybe I should have kicked out. I kind of want to keep this going and see what comes of it. McGee running out. Oh, Jack Noll again. <laughs> just absolutely on it. Okay. We have lost it. Let's just try and regain a, uh, a little bit of shape here. Yeah, I didn't bite that tackle. I thought they would try and play that wider. Oh, yeah. I feel like if I get this one back, I just kind of want to get this off the park. I'm not... F oh, don't do that. Great hit there. Oh, no. I think that was Ellis Genge that was on. That was a monster hit. There was about three men on the outside. That needed to be made. Another good tackle in the back. Ollie Lawrence is slipping through tackles. Like, no tomorrow here. Oh, nearly. And again. Good tackle. Back inside. I don't know why none of my players imagined to get these interceptions. Oh, look at Ben Young's here. Charging through. Good hit again. Right, get in there. That's ours. Okay, drop it back, boys. <laughs> Let's calm it down. Let's get this off the field. No messing about. Okay. It's a scrappy old game, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this is uh, much scrappier than I wanted it to be. Right. 7-0 at halftime. There's a lot of positives to take away from that. Defensively, we're, we're struggling a little bit there. The little sniping runs by the scrum half. In fact, I might narrow up a little bit. I don't know. I feel like the scrum halves are the ones actually causing the issues. They'll be picking up at the back of the ruck and running. I've got my defence set out to get out wide for the wingers. Um, and they're not really making that much. Occasionally, Jack Knowles uh, finding himself out there. Um, I'm kind of happy with everyone from there. Basque is struggling, but I don't have a replacement scrum half, though. Uh, he's going to have to to stay on. Anyone got any good sort of passing stats? Dyer's actually got pretty good, but it would mean having to drop Dyer into scrum half and then having to uh, put someone else at fullback. A little bit tricky to uh, rearrange, maybe. I'll keep it as it is for now. Uh, but 7-0, uh, nothing to, uh, to complain about. But I would like to have a bit more uh, organisation at the minute because it just feels a little bit loose to start off with. Right, Dabulis, take that one in. Okay, let's see where we've got some numbers here. I'm trying to actually just spread this left for a second here. Guerra, oh, it takes a, uh, a big hit there. Let's see if we can just make an extra man. Basca doesn't manage it. Basca's really struggling to uh, to get away from uh, defences here. Right, McGee, drop back. I actually try and might run this around the back here, see if we can make an extra man. Here we go. McGee, a little bit of a different technique as we go wide to Waldron. Gets the offload to Dabulis. Oh, got to give that pass. Got to give that pass. James, oh, tried to kick that over the top. Didn't work for us. They'll pass it back inside. England are loving this offload game at the uh, at the minute. I've got to really watch out to not commit to the rucks too early. Oh, Jack Knoll finds himself out there. No advantage. Good That's tackle the there. Just to uh, put him on the, uh, the wrong foot. Had to go for the forward pass to try and recover. First scrum for us. Uh, the first scrum that they did did not go very well for us. So we're going to try and... Uh, Get this from the back of the scrum as fast as possible. Put this back. Number eight. Pick this one up. Oh, he's run into the scrum. What a what an outrageous decision there. Right. <laughs> that was uh, absolutely not what I wanted. Right. Cruz, get this one out. Let's try and kick this around. Try and mess him up a little bit. James, not really making the ground I would have wanted from him. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's settle this down. Let's just get this one up the field a little bit more. That's a decent kick, to be fair. It's going to put him right towards the uh, the touchline. Oh! Was that a kick, or did he just drop it? I was like, oh, no! Aldrin, what was that pass? He could have given that one a lot earlier. I'm going to hold left here. Yeah, I thought maybe. Oh! Don't let him slip through, boys. Oh, man, we are we are being pushed on the, uh, on the defensive side of it. Right. Okay, they go for an up and under. That's absolutely fine. Stolen with the collection and back down. We are struggling to get out of here at the minute. Right, let's pop this down to try and go around that side. Doesn't work for us. Luckily, came off their play and no offside line on that one. We are struggling to get out here. In fact, let's mix this one up. I seem to be struggling to kick out. My team is not uh, not doing what I want them to. Let's go through uh, some set plays and see if this will make any difference. To Boulis, take this one. Let's see if we can narrow that English defence up a little bit. Go, go, go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we've uh, we got some lines now. Savetta, there we go. Gets it out. Oh, where is Ryan James? Why is he not on his wing? Terrible decision by me. I assumed he would be there. Or by me. Probably shouldn't make that uh, that assumption. Okay, breakily. Nice little pop pass. God, we're just stuck in our 22. Campbell. 
also can't get the pass away. Struggling to get it out. Right. Dabulis. There we go. Nice little... Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Hold the, the left-hand side there. Got to get back. Oh, great tackle on Itoje. Hold this side, boys. Great tackle again. Ball dropped. Johnny May. Isolated. Oh, pick and go. Pick and go. Basker. Ryan James. Okay, well... Oh, no, we got an injury. Okay, hang on. Oh, we're going to have to just think about this for a second. Another injury to the winger. We are taking a battering in this game. Oh, the offload game is strong from England. That was maybe one too many, and now the ball's going loose. In fact, they're beginning to mess up here. Let's just do this. I'm going to commit less men to this mall and try and force them uh, to play out of it. God, the uh, USA mall is an absolute beast. I'm not going to lie. Right, where are they going? They've gone left. That is a great tackle, though, on Ollie Lawrence. So I'm going to shift left. Nope. They don't want Jack Knoll to get on that one. Oh, and Farrell takes it on. I mean, it's a low-scoring game, guys. I'm not going to lie. But uh, you can't ask for a lot more. <laughs> that one score early on that just sort of presented itself right. Someone get back across for him. Good job. I'll cut back inside. Oh! He thought there was an interlooping play. It doesn't work for him. Right, we need subs. Everybody on. Everybody on. I kind of want to get another score in here. Uh, let's just get everyone on. Uh, number four is down. I think that's Savetta. Yep, he can go off. Um, Bonasso. Oh man, I've not, I've not I feel like I've spoken a lot about my forwards today. To be fair, they've, uh, they've struggled. Uh, right, Brach needs to come on for Ryan James because he's got an injury. Lopetti can come on to bring a bit of speed. Uh, Campbell's been slow on the pass. Let's get him off. And I think that's our entire squad coming on. Uh, yep, here they go. There's our reinforcements running onto the uh, onto the pitch. <laughs> Better late than never. Okay, here we go. Checking out why Cruz offload Dabulus. Oh, not the best pass. McGee has to try and go himself. That's okay though. We can. Okay, let's actually switch this back right because I feel like we might have numbers this way now. Cruz. Oh, takes an absolute clattering there. Let's try and go around Breakerly. Rach out on the wing. The new boy doesn't manage to get round Johnny May. Oh, man, I mean, the, the siren's gone. I kind of want to play on. I don't know whether this is a silly move. Should I just kick this off the park? <laughs> I really want to try and get one more try, but I have struggled all game to basically get anywhere. I mean, what am I doing? What uh, what am I thinking about? This is a semi-final. <laughs> oh, what a little bit of uh, interlooping play by them to pass back inside. I don't know what I did that for. Why did I not just get this off the field? Who knows? Lepetti picks up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I playing on? Oh, can we get the pass away? I feel like England are narrowing. I feel like the opportunity is almost there. I just can't get around the uh, the outside. Peterson, offload. Lepetti, oh, give the pass. Uh, I don't think we're going to go anywhere here, guys. I feel like this has uh, been a bit of an anticlimactic match. I think our whole team is in desperate positions. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be a, a rubbish way to end a game. Unfortunately, <laughs> not the most exciting game of the series. Who would have thought it for a semi-final? One score, 7-0. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. Um, England look a bit destroyed. It was just a scrappy old game. Um, I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm not going to lie. 7-0 against England. Uh, and we were put under pressure for big chunks of the game. I struggled to get out of my half. I struggled to even look like I was going to score a second one. Um, I thought I'd play on for a bit, and then I, it, it sort of dawned on me. <laughs> Why am I still playing this one? We'll take a 7-0 win, because that means USA are going on to the final. Well, there we have it, guys. Um, yeah, a, a weird one. Not going to lie. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I didn't have the same energy as I did in the, uh, in the New Zealand game. The New Zealand one felt like a real scrap and a fight to get back into that one. Messy old game, messy old game, but hey. We can't complain too much about the result. It's about how we can get on. In terms of the rest of the standings, then, of course, we won that one 7-0. Um, Ireland lost to South Africa, meaning they've had their third place playoffs now versus England. And England have beaten Ireland 20 points to 15. That's a bit of a turn up for the books uh, because the England team we played then, I mean, they looked like they were getting aggressive. They looked like Jack Knoll playing very well for them out on the wing. I feel like had I carried that game on, Maybe I could have scored, but actually, when I think about it a bit more, <laughs> did I look like I was ever going to score again after that first instance where I feel like we got kind of lucky? Um, for most of that game, I was pinned in my own half trying to get out. But hey, 
I won't complain too much about the uh, the final result, which means, guys, in the next video, we are going on to face the Springboks in the World Cup final. The existing 2019 champions, seeing if they can go for the double on the bounce versus the USA, a 70% chance to win this one. Who knows? Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel to know when that video goes out on the channel first. And if you've enjoyed this one today, make sure to leave this video a like. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.